The case of poetry is especially significant as every country, group, and literary genre has followed an independent and idiosyncratic evolution path. As a result, online access to poetry collection is highly fragmented. There is not an ontological model for poetry which deals specifically with metrical and rhythmical aspects. It's necessary to establish a common conceptual frame to order and classify the philological information in two levels. First, an abstract level with general metadata for describing all the classes such as poem, stanza, line or accent. And second, an individual thesaurus or set of terms to build control vocabularies to name each particular phenomena in any different literary corpora. This way of organization knowledge is the key of the philological pillar as poetic classes, properties and attributes will be in the technological stage transformed into triples composed by URIs and linked to the other data as part of the Link Open Data Cloud. Once this conceptual model is defined, the second step will be its transformation into an ontology encoded in RDF, which is the language of the semantic web. When the web arrived in the early 90s, the first repertoires online appeared and also other ways of encoding poetry such as the text encoding initiative. It is necessary to think of two types of user for which each project is conceived. The academic user, familiarized with the topic of the project, and the public at large. This is the vision of digital humanities, to transform the way we do research in humanities into a digital humanities ecosystem, where syllable counting would be an automated process, thousands of poems could be compared at the same time, Information could be found at a click through the search engine and research became more and more collaborative. <laughs>